The original ballet parade was choreographed by Leonid Massin and it was for the Ballet Russe in 1917 and it was an extremely sort of revolutionary piece, a brand new concept. The costumes were by Picasso, the music was by Eric Satie, the screenplay was by Jean Cocteau, so it was this sort of super team of artists coming together for this creation. The premise of the ballet is the circus performers and street performers trying to lure people into the theatre to see their performance. What we're doing with Parade is we're subverting the whole piece. We're going from the original concept, well, that's our starting point, but we're taking a, a quite a different path away from it, sticking with the original music, um, which is Satie's music, which is going to be played live by BBC National Orchestra Wales, which is incredibly exciting. But apart from that, I'm maybe quoting or alluding to certain characters or references within the piece, but they really will be just a sort of a quote thereof. Um, and otherwise, the physical language that we're figuring out and building together is going to be something very different. But it's still got this revolutionary feel. It's, it's as the circus performers in the, in the original were trying to draw people into the theatre at the same time in, in our version, it's, it's going to be these people putting on a performance um, and within that performance exploring their own creativity and their own possibilities. Everything that we're doing is, let's say, a nod to the past creation of Parade, but we're doing it in a more contemporary way. I think physically we're probably stepping away from the original creation of Parade and we're doing something totally different. I think it's going to be really exciting for the audience because they, I imagine, are going to see us creating these costumes on stage in front of them. So it's going to be quite a live experience and, and hopefully lots of paper flying around, <laughs> different images um, that we're creating all through all these natural tools that we've got here, which I think is going to be quite fun and something quite different. I would say what makes us similar to the old parade is that we are keeping the idea of some characters as well as the music. The music will be the same score that was used back in 1917, which we were actually very lucky to go and listen to the BBC orchestra yesterday. And it's incredible to be there in the room with them and there's a full orchestra and the music is stunning. They have odd, incredible percussion. I mean, at one moment there's a mop sound. Another moment, a typewriter, a typewriter and gunshots. And it's, it's so inspiring to be there and to feel the music. And it's so layered as well. Yeah. We've got quite a variety of instruments on the, on the go in this piece. Um, there are five percussion players in the section, and the way that the, the instruments are split up, you've got three players who are playing standard percussion instruments, like a bass drum, a cymbal, and a snare drum, things that audiences are used to seeing. And then you've got two players who are doing the sort of comedy instruments, I suppose, the ones that are more messing around type instruments, which are things like the typewriter, the lottery wheel. This instrument here, this is the most challenging one for me. This is the bottle phone. So it's like a piano keyboard that is laid out uh, with bottles. Um, as you see, they go from really quite enormous ones here. These are vodka bottles. And it goes right the way up to the top to really tiny pill bottles. Mm -hmm. Um, they're all different shapes, which is not helpful, so that the playing area is not in the same place. And um, some have got water in them, as you can see there, to help get the right pitch, and some are completely empty. So it's purely the glass that gives you the pitch and the volume of air inside. 